Hello, I want to show you how to create this kind of character using liquid shapes. Um, so this is very simple, so hopefully this is going to be a, a pretty quick tutorial. This character was created by our friend Oscar Chavez. Um, so I'm, I'm going to use it to show you this. So I'm going to just create a new vector layer. In this case, I have this vector layer created and I'm going to create a simple circle for the head. All right, so I will just create a circle here. I'm using the create shape, the draw shape tool. Okay, and I have auto fill on and I will turn off auto stroke because I, I don't want the strokes here. I could use the strokes, but they are not really necessary here. So I'm just going to create a circle similar to this. All right, so I have my first shape created. Now I'm going to select it and I will drag this color to pick the color from the character. All right, so I, I'm just dragging the eyedropper here to change the color. Okay, so now I'm going to use the add point tool and I'm going to draw this second shape here. Uh, the body, okay? It's not going to be very accurate, but uh, you can do something better than this. But I will just drag the mouse with the with the add point tool, okay? Um, since I want this to end in a sharp corner, I'm going to hold to hold control before releasing the pen or the mouse. And now I'm going to release uh, control and continue drawing. So you can see that I'm drawing a. I I, I did draw a, a sharp corner there for the tail, okay? So I just have this. And now a couple points here and now I'm going to close this shape. Okay, now I can move some points, uh, adjust some of the curvature with the curvature tool there. Okay, so I'm, I'm not to worry about how similar it looks for now. We, we could fix that later, but we have this second shape. So let me just hide the image so you can see what we have. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this shape because you can see this one, the circle is yellow, but this shape is, um, it has no color yet. I mean, it's only like the the wire of the shape, but there is no color there. So I'm going to paint it. Uh, to paint it, in this case, since this shape is so simple, I'm just going to use the Create Shape tool, and I need to select the points related to the shape I want to create, okay? But since all these points are connected, I'm going to just click on the line here, and that will automatically select the entire shape, all right? So we have the, I mean, it will select all the points related to this shape, and it will offer me, with this tool, uh, the the shape I want to the shape I want to paint. So that is why you see these squares here. So now with this tool, I'm going to select only fill because I don't want to paint a stroke or and, and I don't want to paint fill and a stroke. So I will pick fill here and I'm going to create the shape. Sorry, with this one, <laughs> I was picking the. You can click on the. I was picking the wrong uh, button. You can click here or you can just press enter. Usually I do that, so that's why I got confused. So anyway, I have two shapes now. All right, at the bottom I have the circle and at the top. I have the, the body, okay? So now I'm going to, to combine them. So what I'm going to do is I just select the body, which is the, the, the shape that is on top of the circle. And here I have some options. And these are the, the four options for the liquid shapes. I can add the shapes. So that means these two shapes are going to be shown as one, okay? So if this has a stroke, it will be easier to see. So you can see how they share a stroke. If they are separated, they don't share any stroke. So I can also subtract them. So now this shape will be subtracting it, or I can clip them. So this shape, let me just show the stroke for this one. This shape will be clipped inside of the other one if I press here. In this case, I'm going to add them together. Now I'm going to remove the stroke because I don't want the stroke here. And here we have a percentage uh, of blending, all right? So right now it is 0%. That means there is no blending in the corners. We have like sharp corners on, on where these uh, two shapes meet. But if I increase this by just dragging, you can see how the limit becomes um, softer. So the more blending I apply, the softer the entire shape is going to be, okay? So you can def decide what percentage of blending you want here. And actually, this is just an extra tip. If I, Right now I am on frame zero because I am building this, but if I go to any other frame and I move this percentage, I will create actually a keyframe of that percentage. So you can animate that, you can create cycles, different things with that percentage. But I'm going to just select this and press delete on the keyboard because I don't want uh, keyframes actually. And I'm going back to frame zero. Okay, so now if I select my, my points or if I use the select point tools, I will be able to see the shape here. So you can see how these two shapes are combined. The shape is, in, is not exactly the same as the vectors uh, because they, they, they have this blending percentage. But the nice thing about this is that now I can move the points of the circle. For instance, I'm going to use the transform points tool. And since I want to move all the points of the circle, I'm going to click first on the line. So that will select the four points of the circle. And now I can move. And you can see that when I move them, the software keeps these two shapes connected for a while. If I move them too far away, then they will disconnect. Boom. So we have like this liquid effect happening here. 
all right and you can i'm going to undo that and i will press escape to move other points so i could just move this point to get a like a closer shape to the actual tail there if i want all right so this is the first step we have the body ready now um let me just take this character i'm going to duplicate it the image here and i'm going to move the the duplicate uh, to the side all right just to have a reference i'm going to hide this one for now so i have my reference here and now i'm going to create the mouth all right so i'm going to use the add point tool again i will select sharp corners this time and i will just create the mouth with four points i'm going to press enter here to close this and now i'm going to create a shape for this okay the color of the shape could be whatever i'm going to paint it green just so you can see it but uh, in this case it doesn't matter i'm going to increase the curvature here to get that curvature working all right but now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the shape of the mouth and i i am going to set subtract and since the mouth is on top of the body and the body is on top of the of the normal shape which is the circle this mouth now is subtracting from the circle so if i select this mouth now and i move it you can see how it is subtracting from it so now we can also select this any of these shapes and show the stroke and you can see how the mouth has a stroke here and if i move it to the side i get this effect so if you want to, your character to rotate you can just move the mouth like that and you even keep the line working so usually for instance if you want to create like a 360 rotation you could just move this from the center to the side and let's suppose the character is rotating now and now we are seeing the back and then i can bring it here and continue the rotation here so i could just simulate that this character rotated in 360 okay so let me just undo that and i'm going to select the shape again i'm going to remove the strokes because i don't want the stroke to work now we have um another shape here which is like the the inside part of the mouth so i'm going to create that i'm, I'm going to use the add point tool i could use another tool but in this case i'm just going to create that and in this case i'm going to create a, a simple shape here press enter and now i'm going to paint it with the create shape tool all right the color should be this one but you can see that this shape is on top of the rest now i want this shape to be behind so to move this behind i just select this shape and i can press on the keyboard i can press down on the arrows of the, of the keyboard and then we'll move this shape down so for instance here now it is behind the mouth if i move it down again now it's behind the body and now you can see that how the liquid shape is changing because the, the liquid shapes they they work depending on what is the shape that is below them so for instance if i move this one here do you remember this one is adding so if i move this new shape below the shape that is adding now this shape is adding to the to the mouth actually okay and the mouth is subtracting from this shape and the circle is doing nothing okay so that is why you see this changing so it depends on the on the order the, the shapes have so i'm just going to move this to the bottom so now it is not interacting with any liquid shape it's just a, sh a normal shape that is at the bottom all right so you can see here how this is working so we are very close to it um so now the thing is that if you want to animate the rotation of the character let me just go to frame 24 i can move the mouth to the side so i'm just moving the points here and now i have this shape which i can put just here i can play with the curvature so let's say okay this is what i want for the mouth so now i have this animation okay and you will have to fix the in-betweens some of them especially if, if this character is rotating very slowly probably you don't want this kind of weird shape happening here so you will have to um maybe pull the mouth inside at this point and maybe move it um faster to be outside so this is these are just this is not related to the software itself it's just tricks to simulate a, a 3d rotation but now if i if i hide the points you can see how this is rotating now here at the bottom it's not working well so i'm going to fix that i'm just going to move this here and apply some curvature there so you have this okay so we have a character that rotates already and if you want to rotate it to the other side i will actually copy and paste the keyframes from zero so i will just select this copy and paste here and now i'm going to move here and i can move the mouth to the other side like that and maybe i don't want to only move the mouth maybe i want to select the entire body and head and move it a little bit too maybe rotate it also so now we have more motion for the body too and i could do the same with this one maybe this one should move a little bit like this or yeah i don't know how but yeah there you have it okay and of course this is a, 
a normal character this is made with normal points so you can create a rig with this you can bind the points to the bones you can do whatever you usually can do with any normal point you can create a smart bone so maybe you can you have this uh, head rotation uh, saved into a smart bone so you don't need to be constantly recreating this with with uh, recreating this with points you just rotate that the smart bone but for now we have this okay and I could I could fix the in-betweens or I could fix the the part behind of the of the mouth and all that but um, I won't do it for now okay but let me just remove all this animation now we are going to add the teeth okay in the example of the video I drew uh, some very simple teeth and actually I, I use that point tool but I just draw like several triangles here um, I don't want to do this now I will show you what happened in the video you probably it was so fast that you probably couldn't see it but if I have the teeth here now I need to move them down all right so again I just select the shape with the select shape tool and I can move the I can press the arrow of the keyboard down or up or if I want to send this shape to the bottom I can just press shift and the down arrow and now this shape is at the bottom it won't be visible because it's behind the the internal part of the mouth but now once I send it to the bottom I can send it back up one step so I just press up on the arrows of the keyboard and I have it here all right so let me just show you what happens with the, this teeth so when I was generating the rotation for that uh, for the video I just I mean I assume that you saw that video <laughs> I hope if not it's, it's, it's a short video that is on our channel so I just move this here and the teeth should be around here but since I didn't want to see all the the teeth I just hit them by putting the points very close together so this is a, like a it's a very cheap trick um so it works but uh, there shouldn't should be a better way than just making the teeth uh, flatten so I will create this new way here and and what I'm going to do is I will just um, create different triangles separated and I will paint each of them separated so I will just uh, paint this 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 and maybe now how many does it have like five so I will just create five um, okay so I, I I don't care they don't look exactly as the character all right so I mean for now for this tutorial you can again you can go to the um, um, so since I have my my teeth drawing separated um, let me just adjust the curvature here all right so again I know they, they don't look the same these ones are crossing each other and I don't even need to create a, a liquid shape for this I could uh, since this is the the first teeth I created, every every other teeth is on top of that one. So I can, with the select shape tool, I can select one, then press shift and select the other one, holding shift, the other one and the other one. And now I could set all this to add. Okay, so now all of these teeth are actually adding to it. If you want to confirm that, you can turn on the the strokes. Let me just decrease the size, and you can see how they all look connected. All right, and I could set a blending mode. Sorry, a blending value. If you want now you will lose some of the details by blending this so maybe this is not a bit a good idea but anyway you could just blend them all together in this case I don't I don't need since they are all white or a bit yellowish um, I don't I don't want to blend them so I will set them as normal shapes so they are not blending anymore um, the same for this one and no stroke and actually I will select them again to set the color because I lost that yellow color okay so now what I, I need to do is I need to select all of them all those shapes and I need to send them back okay I have all the all of this uh, selected with the select shape tool so I can press shift on the keyboard and down on the keyboard so now they are all down uh, below the mouth uh, color too but now I'm going to press uh, up one time so now they are in between of the of the mouth color and the rest of the body okay so I have the teeth here and now the thing is that if I want to rotate this character, again, I can move the mouth here, um, there. I can adjust this shape to work better for that mouth now. And now I can move, I will select, select. Uh, I like to use the lasso mode and the select shape, sorry, the select points tool to select. If I select at least one point of each uh, tooth, I can press tab and that will select all the points connected. So I will just move them here. So I'm thinking they should be here but actually this one, only this one should be around here at this point and this one should be probably around here so now I have that rotation and of course in the middle it's not working I need to adjust those to work 
in the transition, but now I get like a more 3D feeling of what is happening with the tooth. So you could do that. You can use the trick of just make every every tooth uh, flat, or you can just you could just draw several teeth there. Okay. So I'm going to do the same. I just remove the animation. I'm going to just select all this, press tab, copy and paste with Control C and Control V. Now I'm just moving this. I'm going to flip these points. Okay. Again, I'm not trying to make them look uh, exactly as the original character, but it's just to show you the idea here. So I have these four points here. Sorry, these four uh, teeth. Again, I will select the shapes. Shift, shift. I will hold shift up and press down to send them to the bottom, and then press up once to send them to be on top of the of the mouth. All right. So now I have I have this. Okay, so again, you could rotate this character and all that. Um, for the eye, I can simply create a circle. I have auto fill selected. I'm going to select the color of the eye and create a, a create a square. Of course, I need to select the circle here. I will undo, and I can just create a circle here. And now I'm going to create the pupil. So I'm going to pick the color of the pupil and create another circle. I'm going to create it here because I want to show you how the clip option works. So now I have this this pupil here and I can select the shape of the pupil and since this pupil is right on top of the eye I can clip it inside of the eye so now I have this all right so now I can control this the rotation of the character let me just put it looking to the f um, to the camera I can move all these points if I want maybe like this I can adjust anything I want but now I'm going to move the eye to the right there I'm going to move the mouth here. Um, I'm going to adjust the shape of the mouth behind, and now I'm going to move the the points of the teeth, adjusting the teeth so they don't go outside of the mouth. Let's say like that for this, and now I'm going to move these ones like this. Maybe this one is going to be here. Okay, but we have our rotation working now. Okay, and of course we can, uh, oops, we can move our eye around. So this is basically it, and, and you can continue when you have a liquid shape. So for instance, this circle that we created at the beginning is being affected by two shapes. This is the normal shape, and then on top of that, it has the body shape that is adding to it with a blending value, and then on top of that, it has the mouth hole that is subtracting from it. Uh, so this is a shape that that is this is a um, a liquid shape cluster made of three shapes, okay? And we could do more. Uh, like for instance, if you can create this uh, part of the body, I'm just going to create something similar here. But I could just use the add points tool or create any shape. But I'm going to use the add point tool. I could use the freehand tool also if I want. But I, I like to use the add point tool for these cases. Uh, but I'm going to create. Okay, let's say this shape. I'm going to paint it. I'm going to paint it this color, and now I can select this shape and say it to clip but now do you see that i said clip here and it is not clipping okay and this is not that the tool is not working this is actually that this shape is clipping inside of the eye because it is on top of the eye so what i need to do is i need to select the shape which is not visible but it's still there and move it down so i will just move it down one step two steps and now it is clipping inside of the body, okay? Because it needs to be right on top of the of the body in the shape order. So you will you will have to do this kind of reordering of the shapes. Luckily, it's all maybe it could look complicated, but once you just select a shape, uh, you just move it up and down until it works, and and that's it. Uh, we have another other two other uh, buttons here that you can also use. So when you select a shape and this shape is part of a, of a liquid shape, you can click here. And that will select the base shape. In this case, is the is the circle, okay? And if I have the circle selected, and since the circle is part of a of a liquid shape group, I can click here, and that will select the shape that is on top of that group. So if I select select for instance the the eye, and I click here, it will select the pupil, okay? If I select the mouth, and I click down, it will select the the head. And the same for the body. If I select the body and click down, so that way I know which shape this one is affecting by using this. Um, these uh, buttons and also in the same in the same way I know which is the, the 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 shape that is most at the top that is affecting the circle by, cli by clicking here. 